Oh no! Oh no! Oh! No! No! What just happened? What just happened? What's up guys? We're back here with the bike. This is part two. It's gonna be in the same video, but it's a part two. Um, so last time you guys were here, um, I was driving up here and right about there, I broke down and I thought, oh man, my transmission just went out. You know, something happened. Something was bad. So what I did is right after that, I undid these three screws here. Um, I was thinking it was either something in here, because this thing was always jumping up and down, or it was something over on the clutch side. Uh, so I decided to start here. So I pulled this off, and uh, for some strange reason, the main sprocket that is underneath here, that hooks up to the chain, had come loose and was spinning freely. Um, so I don't know why I was doing that, that my chain had fallen off as well, that's why this is all scraped up. So all I had to do, I'm guessing this, this chain hasn't been tightened up in the past 30 years. So what I did is I pulled this cover off, fixed that, got that put back on. Long story short, pulled this off, put everything back on there, put my chain on. Um, because this chain probably hasn't been adjusted in a very long time, uh, it's most likely very stretched out and, you know, everything that happens to chains over time. So what I had to do is pull out this cotter pin, loosen up the back axle, um, undo this screw a little bit, and then basically just shift the whole back axle down and back a little bit to tighten the chain up. So I did that, and I took it out for a ride, and she runs great now. It's actually a little bit more responsive um, and there's less jumping because when I had it when I was using it before if I was just going down a straight stretch it would be like this jumping motion where it'd feel like the engine was catching and then slipping and then catching and then slipping and it was most likely just because the chain was loose and it was bouncing up and down you know so all things are good um, I did break my clutch cable again um, I've broken it about five times on this bike. The original went out a while ago. Um, it's been inconvenient every time because I've been like far from home and had to walk a couple miles to get back while well, pushing the bike. So I decided this time to get uh, one eighth um, construction cable instead of the three thirty seconds that was on there before. Got some actual clamps on there. Pounded that down with a hammer. It's a little thicker than the stuff I had on there before, but it's about the same thickness as the brake cable. And then I just have some uh, Cable Tech ground strap bolts down there because it's got this little trough that the cable goes around it. So that's about what's going on with the bike. It's getting dark here, so I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to go inside and edit some videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.